Members of the Mokisa farmers groups are harvesting a field with Nakati berries, a local type of berries whose seeds they process and sell. The stem and leaves of the Nakati plants are harvested as a vegetable for consumption. The ladies of Mokisa farming group have specialized themselves on producing seeds for the market. Return to their home, the ladies are pouring the collected berries in a wooden pounder to smash them. The remains are poured in a saucepan and washed with water. This process is needed to separate the seeds from the skin of the berries. After the seeds are separated and cleaned, they are poured into a clean cloth, which is twisted and squeezed several times to release the remaining water. <laughs> the cloths that the seeds will be placed on a rack to drain the remaining water for at least one day. To achieve the necessary dryness of the seeds, they are spread on a mat in a shade to avoid direct sunlight to the seeds, which will dry them too much. The dry seeds are poured into a bucket and filled per portion in small plastic bags which will be sealed with a hot stick. All bags are packaged in labeled sackets and are ready for sale. The group members are selling other local seeds like Joyobio and Tula and Buga for local markets, which gives them additional income as a group. Apart from selling seeds, farmers are also contributing from consuming green vegetables which they plant with these seeds. In Buikwe district of central Uganda, a farmers group out of disadvantaged members are dealing in production and processing of maize and cassava. The chairperson, Mr. Chiondo, is bringing a saucepan to the group processing center. Female group members have gathered to peel collected cassava tubers in joint action. The peeled cassava chips are collected and carried to the drying racks. The cassava will be dried two to three days depending on the sunshine before they are grinded. Young boys were handling the grinding mill with experience. The mill was financed by the group savings and is managed by the chairperson. The fine cassava floor will be collected and filled into bags for sale to community members from the surrounding area and to the next trading centers. The group is using high quality bags for selling cassava floor to the trading centers. Through trainings provided by ERI, the group has improved their accountability and proper bookkeeping. This is two and a half acres. I'm Konde Kruzestom. Group member. It is the St. John Kikwanya Farmers Group. Uh, we grow this cassava as a group 
and each individual of us grows his and then the community. So they bring them together and we bulk and we process, then we sell. We sell 50 to 70 bucks per month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Over uh, Over uh, server flour, 10, 100, uh, sorry, 100 kilograms. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Enabling Rural Innovation Project of Horizon 3000 is supporting farmers in collective marketing and value addition through various trainings so they can increase their household income and create entrepreneurial culture among the members.